When you see a guy like Khabib Nurmagomedov mm -hmm. just run through people in the UFC and you know where that guy's from, you got to mm -hmm. go, well, how many more of those guys are over there? You know? Yeah. The Dagestan crew, and mm -hmm. that's Zabit too. He's from Dagestan. Isn't Islam Makachev, isn't he from that, that part of the world as well? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where... Uh, Killers. There he is. Boom, mm. boom, 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 mm. boom. That's it. Yeah. So the, I mean, the caucuses, first round. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a warrior group of people. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of... Yeah. History. So I, get, so I get to go there a lot. I'm, I mean, it's really exciting. I get to see a lot of really cool stuff. What is Dagestan like? Okay, Dagestan was a blast. Dagestan was fun, man. Really? Yeah, I, I went there... Um, I um uh, you know I was there with uh who was also at the show they brought over um Verdun and uh and those guys weren't working Verdun and, and Anderson Silva those guys were watching fights <laughs> just you know but I was working but right. yeah they took us around they showed us a lot of really cool stuff I went to like a uh, you know school where some kids wrestling school kids, like uh, a lot of uh, schools that were uh, athletic uh, with an athletic orientation and seeing these little kids I mean, they put this little kid up on a bar and had him doing pull-ups, man. He was doing pull-ups. I mean, this little kid, little bitty kid, did, I mean, it must have been at least 15 pull-ups. And then- How old was it? I mean, he was a little kid. Like, like five, six? Not like something like nine or something like that. And when coach, when the coach pulled him off, he was mad. You could see he was mad. He's like, man, I got more. You know what I mean? He was mad. Like, like, here so in Vegas, UFC 229 on Saturday. Maybe the biggest fight in UFC history. I want to get to that one, of course, shortly. But you did, you, bro you broke some news today. Everyone's been wondering what's going to headline that New York card November 3rd. Valentina Shevchenko, Sahara Eubanks, that is confirmed your main event? Yes, that's the main event. And how did you arrive there? Because I don't think it was any secret that uh, you considered and you were discussing a lot of different options to headline that card, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're still working on fights for that card, so yeah. Why decide to go with Shevchenko and Eubanks? What, what, what gets you excited about that fight? Well, listen, you know, uh, Eubanks, if she had made weight, she, you know, she, she'd uh, been the champion or at least fought for the championship. Um, and there's no doubt that Valentina is the baddest girl around at, at 125 right now. So it was the fight to make. I'm um, just glad we could pull it off this soon. And Valentina had already, was already scheduled to fight Joanna Young Jacek, your former strawweight champion. A lot of people obviously were excited about that fight. Why did the opponent change from Young Jacek to Eubanks when you moved it up to uh, New York? Because as we moved it, sooner uh Joanna wasn't ready Joanna wasn't ready for that fight um <clears throat> Valentina doesn't care this girl will fight tomorrow if she's one of those you know if we called her tomorrow she'll fight tomorrow and she wants to fight every month so um she she absolutely made sense and we made sure that Eubanks was on weight so Sajara is 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 close to weight and uh Valentina's a beast and wanted this fight and it's a fun fight and I know that Joanna had some reservations about going up in weight anyway. She's always thought of herself as a 115er. Is that a fight that you want to revisit, that you expect to revisit? She'll face the winner, or you, you have to see what happens in that first fight? It'll be up to her. We'll see what Joanna wants to do. Obviously, I have a great relationship with her. I, uh, you know, she's a beast, too. Been, been a longtime world champion for us, and if she wants to do that, we'll do it. A big question a lot of people had about New York, and as you know, it's kind of played out in the public because Nate Diaz has been announcing a new weight class. He and Dustin Poirier have been saying they're fighting 165. What, a lot of fans want to know, why, why not take a look at that fight for your main event rather than trying to, to bring in an, a, a new fight with, with Shevchenko? We've never, we've never, I shouldn't say we never, maybe a couple times in the history, the main event has not been a title fight, you know? Um, so we were still building that card, still making fights, and still needed a main event so we got it done can i ask you why don't you want to do 165 pounds if you play uh, tennis serena williams she has to be all in or she has to be all out yep. tiger woods he has to be mm. all in or all out True. if i'm on a team sport skip if i play defense i might you know i ain't gonna do i don't even feel like playing hard today i got tom brady tom brady go score 50. you don't really know how bad i played but in that sport mm. oh combat sports when you're not Skip, you got to, you know what? When you, in a combat sport, you got to get up like you going to pick flowers. Mm -hmm. Ooh, boy, I can't wait to get to the gym today. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to spar. I can't wait to get into the octagon. Because the moment you talk about, oh, boy, Lord, man, I sure hate my job. You better get up out of there because they'll hurt you. That's the hurt business. Yep. And I'm going to tell you another thing, Skip. He needs to think, think long and hard because Connor is running into the same thing that Ronda Rousey ran into. They have not evolved.
Hmm. Conor McGregor is a striker. And if he doesn't get you out of there in the first round or the second round, mm -hmm. bad things normally happen. Now, he did go the distance, and he won a decision over Nate Diaz. Mm -hmm. But what we've seen, Skip, is that when people take him further along, mm -hmm. they take him to the deep, and he can't swim back to shore. He better evolve his game because what guys are starting to see, if we can just stay away from him the first two rounds and we don't let, run into one of those punches, yep. If they ever get him on the ground, he got no ground game. What did Khabib do to him? The little bear. Mm. Wrestle him down, drug him to the deep. Like I said, well, I, mean, I finally want some do on that. Well, me some do on that old Khabib. That's the one and only. <laughs> yeah. I'll get Gotta back. remind but anyway, you. But anyway, often. drug him out there. But Skip, he don't be playing around with this. Mm. But like Dana said, Dana saw it right here and said, your mind is different. Because when he first started fighting, like you mentioned, he was on welfare, Skip. Mm -hmm. He was getting assistance. Yep. He probably had an old beat-up car. Now he goes to his garage, he got nine cars. Mm. I agree with everything you just said, except your conclusion. I still think Connor is negotiating. I think he's going to fight again. The reason well, what about the six-fight deal? Well, still in place, but he's going back and forth. Oh, he wants some more money. Fight. Yeah. Because remember the chronology of what happened just yesterday. He had done his, I, the tape it, I'm pretty sure, the Tonight yeah. Show with Jimmy Fallon. Correct. So just hours before, before. he yeah. taped that. Right. They taped in that for me. And he talked about negotiating in that interview with Dana White to Jimmy Fallon. You know, like we're going back and forth. We're negotiating my next bout, my return to the octagon. And then a few hours later, he just suddenly tweets out of the blue. And and it's it's one of those tweets where... It, it just sounds like, you know, out of the, what, how did it start off? I can't find it. Quick here. announcement. Yeah. I, hey, I guys, have, quick yeah. announcement. I've yeah. decided to retire hey guys, I have from a the quick sport announcement? formally. I yeah. think it was just off the top of his head. <laughs> quick announcement, <right>? guys. <laughs> because Dana White responded.